hi all uh, myself chandu so welcome to h1 live channel so today we are going to discuss like uh, uh, I, what is the basic of uh, stock market for beginners like what things you need to know before starting the stock market so i will be explaining those basic details okay so uh, before starting this like i want to clear some myths before starting okay uh, those are like uh, many people says that it's an gambling game gambling uh, some like uh, some games are there like it will be an uh, betting type they will say like betting type uh, so that those are called as gambling okay so even the stock market also some people like says it's a gambling okay uh, my question is really is it gambling can we take like some technical uh, from those uh, uh, stocks and uh, can we work on those on stock market yes my answer is yes it's not in gambling okay uh, like we have like mass english and science some like we have some subjects in the same way for the stock market also we uh, we have some technical analysis some candlesticks are there some patterns are there so we need to study those things so based on that we can know when the stock can be uh, fallen and when can be it can be increased the price can be increased of that particular stock uh, we call it as bullish and bearish okay bullish is nothing but uh, stock will rise uh, in, i mean stock value will be increasing and coming to bearish means the uh, stock value will be decreasing okay uh, these terms you will be uh, listening continuously in the uh, tv channels in the news uh, tv uh, stock market news channels okay they'll say like uh, today market is bullish today market is bearish it means like today uh, market is bullish means it will be uh, market will be uh, increasing today the value of the nifty and bank nifty and the stock on the particular stocks those will those value will be increasing bearish means it will be falling from particular high level to some level down level means the price of that particular stock will be decreasing okay so now uh, like uh, so investing in investment in stock market are very risky my question is like investment in stock market is risky definitely some word of risky but it's not an uh, risky i mean short traders for them it is a risky who are thinking for the long investment it for them there is a no risky in the stock market okay i'll clearly explain you with example uh, whether the other it is a risky or non risky so uh, this is the uh, nifty chart okay uh, i have taken till 2018 and uh, to 2007 from 2007 to 2018 year okay so here you can see the nifty value uh, it's uh, in 2000 in 2008 to 9 in between the nifty value is around 3000 okay but uh, in 2019 also the nifty value is around uh, 12000 now once after the covid uh, effect the market has came to some around 8000 to 9000 in between okay in 2020 okay suppose if you have been invested 
in the stocks whenever like in between the 2008 to 2009 fall here you can see the red candle right so in the nine fall uh, in in between so at that time some recession has been came okay uh, so at that time if you have been invested in the uh, in the stock market for the long period uh, it has been like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten years if you forget for ten years then the value from three thousand to it is increased to twelve thousand means four times it has been increased you can see here up and downs so whenever some like uh, sometimes uh, example i can say some take some bank okay all of sudden in the night they say like uh, we have been got uh, we have my, my bank is in completely loss we are not able to return the funds so we are closing the uh, bank today bank forever so in if we get those kind of statements immediately the market will fall okay so don't get panic in those situations try to invest more because if it fall from high level to low level again it will try to increase okay so that will be a benefit thing so for short traders it will be a loss but the long traders whoever long investment purpose whoever uh, thinking for them it's better to invest okay even in fds you won't get in, in mutual funds also you won't get this much returns i can guarantee even i'll show in some stocks also uh, what was the previous amount now no, what is the uh, current amount okay so investment in stock markets are risky but for the long traders it, like there is no risky for them okay and also in the like uh, you need to have strong knowledge in finance i say definitely s yes. even though uh, if you don't have strong knowledge in the finance also you can earn even i can show examples whoever like they are uh, uneducated those people i mean undergraduate people those people also uh, got the i mean they have been earned more money source of money okay in indian uh, example like you uh, you can say warren buffett okay he started investing his money in the age of 13 we are in 20s 20s to 30s in between but still we are not have been started investing money in the stock market okay so few like uh, in india few are the like investors who are successful while doing investment so one is rakesh junjula junjunwala so he invested in titan lupin and twins okay and he like what he used to do rakesh junjula he used to check uh, take these small small uh, stocks and he used to invest in that after some uh, some years the the price of that particular stock has been increased so in that way i mean uh, not completely we need to check like penny penny stocks okay uh, we need to check the complete history of that particular uh, company uh, so then only we we are we must invest money in that particular stock okay and uh, so here like i'll be explaining today few topics on face value and split by taking some examples okay what is face value and what is split so now i'll explain them what is face value 
uh, suppose example uh, some britannia company example i'm taking okay example britannia company so what is the uh, suppose britannia stock cost is around now it's around some 3100 uh, example okay uh, so for each and every company they will be giving q3 q1 q2 q3 q4 quarterly results okay in those quarterly results if they got good profits okay then they will be announcing some dividend okay like uh, some dividend uh, today like we got full profit in this quarter so we are giving some dividend to the our customers uh, of uh, whoever buys whoever buy these stocks of britannia we are giving 100 percent uh, dividend they'll say okay so the price of that uh, britannia is of 3100 it means 100 percent of on that particular uh, britannia is nothing but uh, on 3000 rupees you are be getting 100 percent dividend no for each and every stock there will be and having one face value face value is nothing but whenever the stock is listed at that time they will be deciding the promoters promoters company promoters they will be de defining some value uh, suppose example two rupees britannia when it has been listed suppose it is of two rupees then that is called as face value okay so that is called face value so on two rupees they will be getting 100 percent dividend okay so that is called face value now what is split split is nothing but uh, okay uh, for example take an example of britannia only so britannia once upon a time it went to 5000 rupees okay then what happened the company has said that uh, the britannia has been dividing into example i'm saying has been dividing into two organizations okay then the value of that particular 5000 rupees comes into around 2500 okay then uh, 2500 means um, how many stocks will be having two stocks for 5000 we will be getting two stocks but there will be having original value will be having of one stock you got it from 5000 to 2500 means 2500 2500 so when we invested the 5000 rupees we will be having only one stock when we it splitted i mean uh, splitted then it comes to comes as two stocks okay here is the example original uh, face value is of 2 rupees when they have been splitted the reversal uh, face value is of one rupee means divided by one i mean uh, two. Uh, so half rate it comes as one here this one also who decided the promoters has been decided okay not you and me and uh, coming to like how many number of shares like here uh, i have fifty thousand of shares okay when the value is of 5000 rupees when it got splitted to 2500 rupees then i have got number of shares as 1 lakh here how much value have been invested i have invested value is 1 lakh but here also the value has been not changed 
only the shares has been increased when the when there is a split okay so before investing i think uh, you people has been understand that understand it this uh, what is the meaning of original uh, face value and the reversal face value how the split has been worked okay split is nothing but suppose any company xyz company uh, they are like dividing uh, from from one company to two companies or two one organization to two organization example reliance dhirubhai ambani and anil bhai ambani anil bhai um, and like they work together and then later on they have been divided so then the stock price also has been divided even s bank also once upon a time it's around some 400 500, i think so uh, so at that time the s bank also has been divided into parts then the value has been divided into two then whoever having the stocks they got uh, increased their shares okay so before investing any stock they have to check past of that past of that company and what are the present products and what are the present projects they have what are the past projects they have done and also we need to check what are the future projects they are going to do so based on that we can invest even uh, okay those needs we need to check so before going to that i'll explain you uh, and also we need to check uh, something like uh company uh, what are the I mean profits are there and uh, quarterly results we need to check whether if they like they have any uh, deferment how the particular company has got uh, how many crores of turnover it has been done and how many projects it is working so those things also we need to check okay so there is a one website called as money control okay in this money control we can check everything on the for the, of that particular company details okay here we can see such okay such bar there we can search for uh so okay we'll search for reliance okay here you can see reliance just type two or three words anything like r e l i See, directly it will give the uh, names with the rail these are the names so what we want reliance industries so i have been selected the reliance industries there will be a lot of ads in that okay just uh, don't click on those and just uh, click on this whatever you uh, you want that stock to be need to be checked okay see there are uh, you can see here like uh, reliance industries and bsc nsc and uh, sin so this is the uh, code of that particular reliance okay here you can see bsc of 1576.75 here 1576.80 in 5 paisa is difference okay why the five paisa is different because this nsc is nothing but national stock exchange and this is bombay stock exchange there will be the value difference in the market levels uh, mumbai and chennai they will be having different different markets the value will be in different different things so that's why okay and also here we can see some uh, parameters like uh, pre close open price pre close open price and also uh, 52 weeks high 
two to two weeks loss. Okay, those things we can see in this. So what is pre-close? Pre-close is nothing but uh, today market. Okay, uh, so market close at three thirty. Right. So at the time of closing market, what is the value of that particular stock is called pre close. Open price is nothing but our stock market opens at 915. Right. So from 915 to 330. So whenever it opens at 915, the price will be of that. Is open price. So Reliance has been opened at 1582. Okay. And also we will be having something like high and low. So today's high, you can see high. High is of 1614. That means uh, from 915 to into 30 time and 330 time. Uh, the price value of high value of that reliance is of 1614 rupees 0.85 paise. Here you can see 16 rupees 15 paise. Okay, so the value has like high value is this, and the low value And low value is fifteen hundred and seventy-two rupees thirty pies. This is the today low value. Okay. And uh, one more uh, term will be there. Uh, I mean, one more parameter we call as LTP. LTP is last traded price. So whenever the trading uh, from like nine fifteen to three thirty, uh, like it goes the value will be changing for every second or every minute okay that is called last traded price okay and uh, so this is okay next after uh, let's see the reliance Okay, so before going to see, I mean, check the uh, I mean, profit or and loss of that quarter results. Okay, so before like I'm going to explain the explain the uh, pre opening session. Okay, so whenever that market opens, example, I'll show my Zeroda account. So whenever the market opens, uh it like it starts at from nine to from nine o'clock okay uh pre-session nine o'clock to nine fifteen okay so there are like from nine to nine seven like uh even we can execute the orders okay not from the nine fifteen we can start from the nine also uh, so like we can either sell and or else we can buy the particular stock also but it is a not a good habit for small investors do not try to buy or sell any stock at the time of 9 to 9 17 or 9 to 9 15 in between let that settle first of all then only we can buy okay from 9 to 9 7 all orders will be executed from 9 8 to 9 level order matching will be happen order matching i'll explain you what is order matching so here 
this is buyers and this is sellers so here we need to see uh, see 53,000 buyers and 61,000 sellers. So it should match. So the computer will take care number of sellers and the number of buyers matching. Okay. Uh, no one will be manually doing. Only the computer will take care uh, in order to like number of people, buyers and, uh, and, the, and the sellers. Okay, then the last four minutes, like movement won't be had higher. In like if from nine to nine seven, you can see lot of fluctuations, up and down, up and down. Buyers will buy and someone will be selling. So uh, particular stock will be uh, fluctuating, more volatile it will be. Okay, but in the last four minutes, like from nine twelve to nine fifteen the moment won't be any higher it is an advantage for uh, like small investors like like us small investors like we can know market behavior how it will be after the 9 15 either it is increasing either it is falling so it won't like uh, this mainly this last four minutes it will be used for observe the volatility okay So the, uh, this is a 15 minute session from 9 to 9.15 to observe pre-session. So pre-opening session is known is nothing but it is a 15 minute session from 9 to 9.15 to observe high volatility or fluctuations in the market. Okay. So tomorrow i will i will be i mean in another session i will be clearly explaining you like how to check the uh, how to check the particular uh, profits and what are the losses for in the quarterly results uh, i mean where we can check those things and also what is uh, what are the their turnover and how much debts they are having those things how look how we can check i'll explain you clearly so based on that we can buy the stocks okay or we can sell the stock okay so this so that's all for the today's session so if any doubts please write questions in the uh comment session so that i can reply it. if you like this session please subscribe and also don't forget to like it okay so i have been started recently this channel so please help us to grow okay thank you have a nice day